This is Luke 14 and 10. But when thou art bidden, go and sit down in the lowest room, that when he that bade thee cometh, he may say unto thee, Friend, go up higher, then shall thou have worship in the presence of them that sit at meat with thee. All right, I'm going to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Chakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 First Fruit. This is Brother Kasha Kuala from the GMS Atlanta Church here in Georgia. And I'm coming to you with a quick lesson about how we take the low seat and how you should take the low seat. All right, so this is Luke 14 and 10 again. It says, But when thou art bidden, go and sit down in the lowest room. Okay, so there was a parable where um, I think in the book of Matthew it was speaking about how he went to go find laborers, you know, gave them a penny for the day, you know, he found laborers for the first hour, the third hour, the sixth, ninth hour, and then the eleventh hour. All right. So as it goes into, he was bidden. All right. He 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 uh, got them to be working for him. So let's go into the word bidden. All right. It says, uh, "Kaleo," and it means to call, to call aloud, utter in a loud voice. Okay. So that kind of brings up a precept in mind. All right. Let's go to Second Corinthians, the first chapter. It says, uh, let's see, to the point, First, uh, Second Corinthians 1 and 6, it says, And whether you be afflicted, it is for your consolation. All right, I'm going to continue. In salvation, but focus on the word consolation. All right, in salvation, which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings, which we also suffer. All right, whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. Now, when you go into the word consolation, it means to be a calling, all right? Uh, the word there in the Greek is paraklasis, uh, and it means a calling near or a, a summon, okay? So going back to the word uh, kaleo, which is bidden, is to call. So a consolation is a synonym for the word bidden, all right? He called, all right? So let's go back. It says, but when thou art bidden, so when you are called, go and sit down in the lowest room. So when you're called, you're supposed to be humble. You're supposed to humbly take this truth and already be uh, sit down at the lowest seat. Because when you get the truth, if you're still proud, then you didn't take this truth for what it was. Okay? Meaning the law, statutes, and commandments, you didn't take seriously. Okay? Because when a brother gets the truth and figures out that he's been going off his entire life, he's going to humble himself and humiliate himself to get in order. Okay? So it says again, uh, but when thou art bidden, when you're called, for many are called, but few are chosen. So when you get your consolation, when, you get your, when, you, when you're bidden, all right, go and sit down in the lowest room. Take it with all humility. Okay? Because this is something that's precious unto us. Okay? It's very precious unto us. Matter of fact, to prove that, uh, let me see if I can find the scripture first in my in my Bible real quick. Bear with me. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I found it. I'm going to keep 2 Corinthians there because it's still a point I want to make. Um, this is uh, 1 Samuel chapter 3 and 1. It says, in... The child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli, and the, war, and the word of the Lord was precious in those days, and there was no open vision, okay? So when you get this truth, it's a precious thing, all right? Because notice, it says, and the word of the Lord was precious in those days, okay? The word of the Lord, uh, the word of the Lord is precious right now. We're in the latter days. It says, there was no open vision. That's right. A lot of these people are blind to the fact of what the hell is going on and, and, and what the Bible is actually speaking about and what it's trying to tell or forewarn you of what's to come. OK, there's no open vision right now, but um, the vision is come to the apophics. 
who I believe are the, the great millstone camp, the men of the Lord. Okay, so back to Luke 14 and 10. But when thou art bidden, so when you're called, your consolation of salvation, all right, go and sit down in the lowest room. That when he that bade thee cometh, okay, it says that when he that bade thee cometh, all right. So what does that mean? Who bade us, all right? Yahweh Bashem was shy. So when Yahweh Shai comes back, that's when he bade us. When he cometh, all right, he may say unto thee. So this is what he will say unto you, okay? Because you were called and you sat in the lowest in the lowest room or the lowest seat, okay? And when he came, all right, the one who bade you, and he will say unto you, all right, friend. Now, when Yahweh Shai comes back, that's the word that I want to hear, friend. Okay, because that means you love me. Yahweh Shai loved me because I did what he told told me to do. He bade. He saw I was humble with it. I'm speaking in general. Okay, but I am speaking as as a man and as myself as well. Okay, but this goes towards you, Akim, as well. All right. When he comes back, you want him to say friend. Okay, so it says go up higher. That's right, and that's heavy. Cause how are we gonna how are we gonna get the hell up out of Babylon? We gotta go up high. The ships, the uh, the chariots, they're gonna catch they're gonna catch us, all right. And they're gonna catch us in the and we're gonna meet them up in the sky, okay. The scriptures say so, all right. It says, friend, go up higher. That's right. When I when Yahweh Shai comes back, he cracks some skies and comes kills this wicked ass place. I want him to be like your friend and catch me like he caught Peter out of the water of the boy when the boisterous winds came, okay, and get caught up and go up higher into a chariot and be changed with the twinkling of an eye, all right? Then shall thou have worship in the presence of them that sat at meat with thee, okay? That's heavy. This is heavy, all right? So taking the lower seat will get you caught up, will get you uh, to be called a friend, all right? Let's go to John. All right. Let's go to the book of John, chapter 15. All right. And 12, it says, This is my commandment that ye love, that ye love one another as I have loved you. All right, Salaki, it was like a, a low flying plane <laughs> right outside my windows. Esau, man. It says, This commandment. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Or what? Sit in the lowest room. When you get this truth, take a seat into the lowest room. Okay? Take a seat in the lowest room. And he will exalt you in due time. Let's read verse 11. For whosoever exalted himself uh, shall be abased. That's right. Shall be abased. And he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. There you go. We shall be taken what? Higher. All right. We should be taken higher into a better place. All right. So that being said, let me get one more scripture and I'm going to close it out. Um, I think it's the book of Ecclesiastes. Um, yeah, 9 and 15, okay, it says, uh, now there was found in it a poor Salakia, I'll start at, uh, 13, the wisdom, the wisdom have I seen also under the sun, and it seemed great unto me, there was a little city, and a few men within it, a few men within it, and there came a great king against it, and besieged it, and built great bulwarks against it, verse 15, now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom delivered the city. Yet no man remembered that same poor man. Who is that? That is us. Okay? That is us. I watched a great video, uh, <laughs> Road Rage Prophecy, by a brother in my camp by the name of Abba Badra. All right? And he was saying that we have to put a city on our backs. You know how Jake likes to say, put the team on my back, though. You know what I'm saying? But in this case, we're putting an entire city, and that's the city of Jerusalem, Israel, okay? That's who we're putting up, okay? So, 
It says, now there was found in it a poor wise man. And that's us. We're wise men, though. All right. And he, <clears throat> and it said poor. All right. That means he has the lowest room. He has a low, a low estate, you know. So it says, and he, by his wisdom, delivered the city. Yet no man remembered that same poor man. But in this case, we're, we will be remembered because of what Yahweh Shai said. Okay. Since we humbled ourselves, we'll be exalted. All right. So I just wanted to come with a quick lesson about taking the low. All right. And how we're going to get caught up for taking the humble route. All right. Lord willing. Okay. And again, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechak, Radash, double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, Ruel, peace of salutation to the elect 144. Until next time, I want to say Shalom.